Welcome to the Percussion Ranch. I'm really thrilled today to have Chris Higgins on acoustic bass. We've got one trio project up on Bandcamp, which is Chris Higgins and myself and Paul Maggio. And we're here today in Kelso recording a new one, a new version that'll probably, I don't know, it's got a, a more improvisation. The other one I had a little more written stuff too, but so glad you're here, Chris. And tell me about acoustic bass and like, what some of the things you're thinking about, especially with this configuration, with mm -hmm. maybe vibes, trumpet, bass, or drums, trumpet, bass, whatever you would feel like talking about. Yeah, it's kind of a weird uh, job to have um, to, to play the bass for this kind of configuration. Um, but, um, you know, um, I, I guess I started playing free a very long time ago, and and it's one of these things that you just um, you just um, you don't necessarily know if you're doing it right, but at a certain point, the song is over, and you realize that you you did it. You know, in other words, like you know whatever initial insecurity you may have had at the beginning when you were playing for a moment or there or, or not, Great. then it, by the end you're like, no, but I actually spent half the time doing exactly what I wanted to do. So cool, yeah. yes, yes. As, I love that too, because there can be a certain uh, awkwardness of the silence, yeah. which is really good, right. because especially with this configuration of characters, everybody's super listening. Yeah. And it's so easy just to wait and see what you or Paul come up with. You know? Yeah. I, I just think that's so fun. And then also, you know how some free music can just be totally random? Which is fine, but we, t we tend to go a little groove, a little no groove, mm -hmm. a little groove, a little no groove. Or, or, and I also think it's cool, like, just start with bass or yeah. just start with trumpet. So great, great point. I love the si when the silence happens, then there's a certain relief. Oh, it, we just did a cool little tune. Yeah, yeah, and I don't know, it's, it's um, I, I don't know if this makes any sense to you, but I consider every improvisation to be perfect, because you, obviously you can't go back and erase, I mean you can yeah. with technology, but you're not going to do that, but you know, it's, it's really just, uh, you know, it's a, it's a statement in the moment, and yep. it's, there's, you can't take it back, and you, don't, you shouldn't have to. I think it's like... Um, um, yeah, it's, it's like a guaranteed um, free pass. You yeah. Know? yeah, total honesty. Yeah. Like, like you, if, you, if all three of us can stop thinking, which we kind of do, you're thinking because you're listening to the other folks, but also if you think too much, you've just ruined it, right? Yeah. It's yeah. so cool to, like, to say, okay, I'm just going to react and play. React and play, and, yeah. And I know my brain's sending my hand a message to hit a vibraphone, but it's truly... Uh, altered by your bass note or Paul's trumpet note, right? Which, like, that's a great point. So, a free, all free form ones are, are really perfect. There's, yeah. there's no. It's a direct. Not it, a wrong note. It's a direct path, you might say. There's no. There shouldn't. The analytical part doesn't work because you can't judge it by the traditional standards <laughs> of like you're out of tempo or you're in the wrong measure. Perfect. Or whatever you know. It's truly, yeah. the, for me, the funnest, <laughs> yeah. the absolute funnest. Yeah. And when you get the same characters feeling the same thing, it's so satisfying because, yeah. like you say, every note it really, really counts. You know, it's yeah. Ex excellent. It is the composition. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that is the composition. And that's a great challenge, right? Yeah. So if we pull up a composition like we did Icicles, yeah. it's, it's kind of nice. Also, another whole thing, here's a little thing we follow, and then we throw it away. In other words... The whole middle is whatever, but even subconsciously, mm -hmm. I know all of us are referring to what we just played. So it's like mm -hmm. an ABA, you know, form, no form, form. Of course, and yeah. And that's a really cool part of moving them together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Excellent. <laughs> Tell me this other idea. Yeah. I know you're deep in, like, there's a certain meditation mm -hmm. involved with them. Um, Playing with no, I mean, playing all all together, but like no music at all. I think I'm really closer to some sort of meditation. Maybe 
you know? um, definitely and and that that's what I was trying to like thinking about is like this kind of direct thing so in meditation you try and get your conscious awareness to go directly uh, to your uh, subconscious mind without the analytical filter yeah so <clears throat> the same is true here I guess so yeah because the analytical filter wouldn't it wouldn't tell you much, you yeah. know, uh, you know, uh, the traditional music education doesn't, um, right. doesn't, doesn't work in that thing. So it just takes out all the analysis altogether. Right. And, and so you're just there, uh, you know, left to, uh, connect directly. And, and I would imagine because I've been studying sort of, um, you know the actual physical effect of meditation and what it does to the to the air in the room and how people's energies actually interact with one another right outside of our bodies and right. so if you really start to look at it you you could definitely find some um parallels parallels or identical yeah things. totally parallel yeah that, i think one one meditation i i know some of these t a really good hard one i think is to totally stop every thought, you, yeah. you know, like which is maybe one of the main points of, but it's kind of difficult to, to absolutely throw every thought out of your brain because then start stuff starts appearing. Like, right. like some of these tunes, I'd get up at four in the morning because I'm sitting there trying to think of nothing and all no. of a sudden you hear a sound and I have to get up and, right. and, and it's kind of fun because when I discover a tune that way, it's really a mystery mm. where, where did it come from, which other dimension correct yeah <laughs> and that's they're they're out there so it's so cool yeah that's good man yeah <laughs> I eat so fast I have to, to spread it out because she's big and huge. And she'll gobble it down like a, like a monster. 